So yeah, nice and easy. In the process of making the chicken and chorizo soup today, what I need to do is open some tins, tomatoes, beans, um, sweet corn, etc. Now, obviously, the majority are coming with this these days, but some still come where you've got to take the lid off manually. And to do that, I've been using this for the past year or two, but it's come to the end of its life and it's really difficult to, to use now. So I've got this one. I've had this style before. It, it always works great. It's my preferred way to open a tin but I've been forced into getting this Lantana one, uh, which I believe is exactly the same as the T-File one as well. Anyway, this opens by going around the tin again. And the benefits of that is you can take the lid off and put it back on. I've been forced into getting a manual one just because my wife prefers the manual one. She doesn't like using an electronic one. However, I didn't want to get the old fashioned one that cuts around the inside with a, a jagged edge and you've got to lift it off so that you can cut yourself. I wanted one that operates like these electric ones, cuts around the outside, you can lift off and reseal the tin. So let's see them both in action. Uh, I know this one's still gonna be my favorite one, but I just want to see how easy this is to use. First of all, the electric one, and as you can see, uh, it's not really branded. It's a generic one. There's lots of different names on these out in the marketplace, but this was probably about 12 pound off eBay. It could have even been less. It could have been 10 pound. If we have a look underneath, there's your cutting wheel. There's your cutting wheel there. Uh, that's what keeps hold of the cam. And they all come with a, a magnet as well, so that sometimes you, when you lift this off, the lid actually comes with it. And all you do, get the tin, pop it on top like that. And you can hear it going round. And once it's made a full circle, it should stop itself. Right, so, oh yeah, there you go, it's stopped. Let's take it off, see if the lid comes off with it. No, it hasn't done. But as you can see, that's how easy it is to come off. And if you only use half the contents, you can close it up again. No rough edges for you to cut yourself, no rough edges on there to cut yourself. So that's done everything that I wanted to do and it's done it perfectly. And here's the Lantana one. It works exactly the same. It cuts from the side there. So there's the cutting wheel, if you can see it. You just place it on top of the tin, start turning it. In addition, you've got a, a bottle opener there, which is a, a nice thing. And the one thing I'll say about this is the specific instructions about do not put it in the dishwasher and do not submerge it in water. You've just got to clean it with a damp cloth. But let's see it in operation. So get it, pop it over. You can see the just pop it over like that it's over the lip and then hopefully it should just be a case of turning it yeah you can feel it tighten on it just turn it so that you can see it and it's nice and easy oops for daisy i just re rewound it which was no good so yeah nice and easy not if you've got arthritis obviously which is where the other one comes in. Okay, that should be it. And hey presto. So it, it really didn't take any work to do it. Um, yeah, still no sharp edges or on the tins opened can be resealed. Um, as I was saying then, if you've got arthritis and you can't grip this to turn it, or if you've disabled in, in the arm, then you can't use this. However, you can use this one. So that's something to take into account. But for the purpose of having this one, which is purely and simply as a backup, it works perfectly. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. Really pleased. The in summary part of the video, well, the video is primarily about the Lantana manual can opener. Um, before I just go into that in depth though, so the Bangrui one, which I've probably had for about five years, um, 
can't use that anymore that's defunct and gone this one this was probably about 15 pounds and the lantana was 12 pounds so not much of a difference and this is my go-to one pick it up put it on walk away come back and it's done and it's switched off so so easy yeah that's definitely my go-to one however as a as a backup if you've got no batteries or if it just stops working for every reason the the lantana one is is so easy to use you get a much better finish on the can so as i showed you don't get any any edges where you can cut yourself and you also get a, a resealable top as well very very easy to use you don't have to put any pressure into it whatsoever when you saw me using it i was actually moving it backwards as my finger was touching it so really really easy to use not great if you can't grip so if you've got rheumatism or something like that uh, and the other downside to it is you can't put it in a dishwasher it is wiped clean only and that'll be because of the parts inside the once the grease is off them they'll just rust or or seize um so in summary absolutely fantastic would i recommend it yes i would if i didn't have this would i be happy that i had that yeah definitely and compared to the old the old manual uh, tin openers just just a step change so yeah full recommendation on this and there's the finished product, chicken and chorizo stew, absolutely delicious.